thought it might be nice to talk about scuba diving from my front porch, my little bungalow style apartment, which is something I enjoy saying. Here's my favorite tree here. <laughs> A lot of why I decided to do scuba diving was to give it my best shot to really enjoy Florida. The truth is, I'm not very into Florida. <laughs> I've not been very happy moving here and it's finally about time to move away. But um, I thought it would be better to really give Florida its best shot with me. So I at least have some nice memories before moving away. And I thought it'd be good to do the things it's most famous for. Just got back from my first ocean dive and it was very, very cool. You can see my mask uh, imprint here on my face. Um, saw two sharks, a lobster, a lot of fish, Got some GoPro stuff, a little bit of buoyancy control challenge, <laughs> but it really, really went well. It was very cool. Um, ah, that was, it was worthwhile. To scuba dive, you need a certification. So I got some money together and did a scuba diving certification this weekend. do the first boat dive today. Very tired. It's due to my lifestyle. Very soon we're gonna get on the boat and dive. <laughs> so now with that I'm a certified open water scuba diver. Yes! <laughs> First breath you take underwater defies everything you've learned through personal experience about the physics of the world. Really, really memorable. It was just in the pool at the park up my street. You just, you just go underwater and then you inhale and there's air in your lungs and you're breathing underwater. It's pretty amazing. I'm from the mountains. I really just get altitude more <laughs> as a human. <laughs> as a pilot, as a person from the Rocky Mountains, the Denver area. Um, but going in the ocean, it was immediately amazing how much life there is there, how much biodiversity. I saw a lobster, I saw two sharks, I saw clownfish, I saw all kinds of fish that I'd only seen in Finding Nemo before. <laughs> and there's just little moments when you're appreciating the fish where you realize this is their world in the ocean, is, is home for them. This is a place they exist all the time. And we are these very interesting creatures ourselves who've created this elaborate body encasing set of equipment to be able to join them. It's amazing to be swimming right by animals you've only ever seen in an aquarium before. I noticed that everybody who wasn't a student on the dive boat was clearly obsessed with scuba. <laughs> like it is their life. That was interesting. It's like crossfitting. People generally are either really, really into it or just there for the day. <laughs> it's a lifestyle. It was really neat experiencing salt water. It sounds obvious, but it tastes salty. The first time I had that salt water taste on, I was like, what is this? <laughs> it's like, oh, it tastes salty. Like the ocean. <laughs> the first time I saw the ocean or I visited the ocean was in San Francisco and I remember being let down that it, it didn't smell very salty or taste very salty. It had been really built up in books and movies as like ah oh, the, the taste of the sea salt on my lips from the breeze from the sea breeze and I just like it was very understated <laughs> at that time but scuba diving like boom salty seawater taste. It was it was like hiking and that food tastes better after because you're really exhausted. You know, really the only other place I've experienced that has so much biodiversity just and so much life was Africa. The whole continent just has so many insects, so many animals. And now I can see that under the ocean surface it's the same way. Very cool. Saw two sharks. <laughs> Did I mention that? <laughs> wild and a fish bit me I was like what the heck like I felt this like ah on my on my pinky 
and it was a, a freaking fish bite. And it left a little ring of tooth mark on my skin. It was that hard. Like, ugh. I'm, it's so funny. You hear your whole life about people who go fishing and talk about biting fish bites, like bites on the line. But somehow it hadn't like connected in my brain that fish bite flesh, maybe. <laughs> uh, it's like a, you're, you're exercising your willpower when you go to the gym, but scuba diving is like pleasant, pleasant movement. So you're very exerted the whole time, but it's very pleasant. Time moves really fast when you're scuba diving. You're under the water for like 45 minutes and it feels like you were under for maybe 20. That's, that's pretty cool. There's like a, a time warp effect. My brother once told me, he's a very advanced diver. He's like being underwater, you're kind of in slow motion. So it's like you're an astronaut. <laughs> I really like that thought. I'm glad I did it. I'm looking forward to wherever else I dive in the world. A lot of the hope has been it will pair with layovers as a pilot. You get a day or two laid over someday and be able to spend it diving. Always being mindful to not fly too soon after a dive, of course, due to physiological concerns. <laughs> The sun is setting on my first scuba diving weekend. Um, it was a good thing to do. <laughs>